you know, we have talked throughout this episode about the the book and all the challenges that you've had. And, you know, one of my favorite parts of the book was when you walked into that Walmart distribution center and you said to them like, Hey, I'm delivering in my truck to all these stores. Um, and oh my goodness, the relationship and, and how that moment, that courage, how that has been, it's just grown into so much. If you visit the produce folks, the, the blog that we composed, that um that that to celebrate sarah as our inaugural trailblazer award we've actually embedded remarks from doug mcmillan himself into that blog talking about sarah's importance as it relates to sourcing products from woman-owned businesses um, and beyond that sarah i know that you've been absolutely instrumental in um the locally sourced programs that at walmart um and you've got a really unique place in, in the, and when we think about USA grown food, um, us, you know, domestic agriculture, the Midwest, I mean, I'm a Midwest girl, you're a Midwest girl, not necessarily the area that folks think about when it comes to fruits and vegetables. So how did you make it happen? Like, tell us a little bit more about that growth with Walmart, the actual programming that you are a real catalyst for building there. Um, and, and, you know, and, and of course there's challenges. So just share more about it. First of all, you'd mentioned Doug McMillan and, and I got to say, so like, I'm, I'm a total fan of Doug McMillan and Me his too. leadership. And yeah. I just remember, you know, during the early days of COVID when in our industry, we were watching everything um, just shut down around us and we're all working to hang on and try to figure out, you know, how we're going to move forward in our businesses and, and, and what, what the next few weeks or what the next few years would be like in, in our businesses. And I remember very distinctly, um, you know, I was having um, conversations on um, our Florida crop was in the ground, nearly ready for harvest at about that time. And I remember having conversations with our retail partners about, you know, if we were going to be able to move that, you know, this was at a time when people were literally sanitizing the boxes that their Amazon packages came in, you know, and, um, I just remember having very, uh, uh, Walmart was able to pivot very quickly. We were able to still have very good relations uh, with our buyers, even though we were all at this sort of weird sort of, you know, work from home, you know, situation and things were really sort of scary and uncertain. Um, but you never really got that sense from the people in the company and I remember, I remember thinking to myself, um, wow, everyone's handling this, you know, uh, in, a, in a really, in a really calm way and in a very effective way. And as I was making a lot of decisions for our own company uh, that were, you know, you know, in, in, impactful and scary at times. I saw Doug McMillan um, on TV and he had uh, been to the White House.